Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you cannot start the service interactive services detection on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in services, best match should say services listed right above app. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to locate the Windows installer service and double click on it. Make sure startup type is set to manual. So if it's set to anything other than that, you want to set it to manual and the service status is stopped, you want to select the start option and then select OK. Close out of there, see if that resolves the problem. Another thing you can try here would be to open up the start menu and type in File Explorer. Best match should go back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to select this PC on the left side and double click on your local disk. Go underneath Windows, so double click on Windows. Locate System32, double click on it. There should be a spool folder, so S-P-O-O-L. You can just left click on any one of these folders here and just start typing it. So, so you can see it says spool. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. And there should be a printers folder in here. Double click on it. Select continue if you need permission to access this folder. If you see anything in here with the extension .spl or .shd, you want to delete them. So again, .spl or .shd. And you just want to go ahead and delete them. And then hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. So you'd restart your computer, obviously, you'd restart your printer, and then that should have resolved the problem like I just said. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz, it'll help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.